when one of my favorite breweries ever collaborates with a very respectable other local brewery and names the collaboration Frenemy Mine, it's probably good stuff. On the back of the can it says, Enemies because they were taught to be, allies because they had to be, brothers because they dared to be. Dun dun dun! But to be honest, I think I prefer Buford and Baljeet's line. Let's see. Because we're frenemies, we like disliking one another. Yes, we're frenemies. He's like my least favorite brother. Hello and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Today I am drinking and enjoying Frenemy Mine by Black Raven Brewing Company in collaboration with Fremont Brewing Company, both Northwest staple breweries. Fremont, you can probably find a lot of places. I have seen it in most of the beer stores I've been in outside of the area, um, and certainly every beer store I've been to inside the area. Uh, Black Raven Brewing probably doesn't distribute quite so far as Fremont, but they are known for their curious and clever brews, and I think I have another of their beers in my queue right now, um, Kitty Cat Blues. Um, they, do, they do no wrong. Black Raven was Feather Weather earlier this year. Um, I've drunk several of their beers, and they're all bangers. Um, I believe and would imagine that this is a West Coast IPA, given that is Fremont's particular um, skill set, and Black Raven is no slouch at it either. Also, considering it is brewed with Talus, Simcoe, and Idaho 7 hops, and has an IBU of 70, so that's a pretty, pretty decent IBU level, bittering level. Color-wise, we're looking at... Uh, uh, to the light side of honey, it's it's yellow with perhaps the barest hint of amber in it. The head is pretty happy to come back and is just off white. And I'm getting oh, gads, piles of beautiful floral hops off this thing, and some fruity hops too. I don't know which hop in particular brings what what to the party. I have had other I have had other beers I know with Simcoe and Idaho Seven. I don't know um, that I've had a beer that necessarily claimed to have the Talus hops in the past or before. Um, at least that the name of that hop is not ringing any sort of bells inside uh, inside my uh, my cranium. It's almost a. Uh, a watermelon vibe going on here. Tropical, um, but not tropical fruits like you would expect from a, a Northeast or hazy IPA, or even a lot of West Coast these days. It's more like the leaves of the tropical fruit plants. There's a, a greenness, a, a verdancy to the, um, to the, the, the smell. And you know how leaves kind of have an almost bitter uh, aroma compared to the fruit or the flower of the plant they produce. That's kind of what I'm picking up. Like, like you you get with a, a pineapple or or a uh, passion fruit, not mango, more like pineapple and passion fruit, and then you think of the leaf version of that smell. That's kind of what I'm picking up here. Hmm. Yeah, that smells good. It smells inviting. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I must say that it feels like I'm expecting an earlier hit to the bitterness. And yet, the start is, is pretty nice juiciness. And it's taking some time for the bitterness to grow. And now, finally, the bitterness is coming. But, um, like I said earlier, it's it's like a leafy bitterness. That's, that's very interesting. I wonder how much of that has to do with the talus hops that I'm not quite as familiar with. 
I mean, not that I'm familiar with the Simcoe or the Idaho 7. I just know I've read those names on cans of beers I've drunk before. I really should uh, study hops a little more in all the spare time I have. <laughs> but yeah, there is that same tropical juiciness. And at first, it feels like, oh, there's not much bitterness to this. We're just kind of dancing along here at the top. Not really pineapple, maybe maybe more um, guava and apple. Um, maybe a touch of grape or that watermelon. There's this kind of nice, round, juicy sweetness. But that's at the outset. That's like the first two to three seconds, maybe four. And then... It's this really slow build, really slow build, as the, the bitterness slowly starts to come out of the beer and, and starts to, to fill your mouth. Um, that's really cool how they got it to, like, that slow burn for the bitters. <laughs> that's quite nice. I like that. The, the length of that, like, you can take a drink, and then I'm enjoying it. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty seconds later, as it's still actually doing things in my mouth after I've swallowed it. You know, now the, the after breath and the, the different aromas, like, as I'm swallowing now, I'm swallowing these, um, like, tropical fruit leaf kind of flavors, and, yeah, that's... That is, a, that is a curiously and cleverly creative use of hops there. <laughs> good stuff. I like that. That's a good beer. Given this is a collaboration, I'm guessing this is relatively short-lived. I believe Black Raven does collaborations pretty regularly with various breweries. Um, and, I mean, they... They make good beers themselves, so I'd imagine they recognize skill and quality in their um, competition. I mean, they're uh, they're uh, they're frenemies, <laughs> and um, and so when they do a collaboration, it's probably going to be good stuff. And this is good stuff. This is a very nice. If you like West Coast IPAs, I think you will find this one to be delightful. Um, excellent beer. It's not so sweet that it can't pair well with food. I think this would go really well with a very nice um, margarita pizza. I don't think this the higher saltiness of a of a super meat pizza would benefit quite so much, though it wouldn't be bad. But specifically, the sweetness that you have and the herbalness that you have with a margarita pizza, which, in case you aren't familiar, a margarita pizza is tomatoes basil and mozzarella and that's all um, it's a very traditional uh, neapolitan or napolitano style of pizza and so it's it's more sweet the mozzarella is relatively low saltiness and that is the only salty thing on there besides perhaps the crust itself and so it's more of a uh, a vegetable sweetness to that pizza and because while this has a little bit of sweetness to it, it has the, it, it maintains this relatively dry character with, instead of the fruits, the leaves of the fruits, and then that real slow build of bitterness. I think this would be excellent with that. Anyways, this is me, kind of wishing I had a margarita pizza right now. <laughs> Drinking and definitely enjoying Black Raven Brewing Company and Fremont Brewing Company's Frenemy Mine, and I will catch y'all on the flip side. Thank you.